All right, guys. So, I just wanted to show off the uh, E6 Connect paired with um, my Swing Logic uh, SLX the device is connected. Micro SIM. Okay, so what that is, you get this USB device right here. I know the lighting is not that great in my garage. I apologize for that. But uh, you just charge this up. It doesn't take too long to charge up. Um, it comes with a two foot long swing stick that it just kind of clips into. Um, like, boom, done. So you can either have it like this um, and connect it to the stick and not hit a real ball if you're limited on space. Or you can change it to a real club and you can move it um, using a, a little cradle. It came with a couple ways to do it. I prefer I prefer this little cradle. Um, it's got like a little rubber grip on it. You just uh, move it to just like that. Clips right into the cradle. And then what you would do is you would just wrap that rubber around one of your golf clubs and line it up with your alignment on your grip and then boom you have uh, full use of your golf clubs with it and you could change it into settings too so let me take it off this cradle put it back on the swing stick just like that that quick that easy um now on e6 there are settings for simulator now this was formerly called the tittle x um, you can click on tittle, configure, and right now I've got it on impact trainer, which is the stick. Um, I've got it on, uh, both set on impact trainer, sensitivity set to very high. Um, I'm actually going to, probably going to keep that at five and my irons at minus five. That's a little bit closer to my distances. Actually, let's go, let's configure that. We'll put that at zero and zero right now. And we'll see how that does. Um, and elevation, we're just gonna do, we're gonna do course elevation. Um, and we'll just go to practice real quick. So the E6 Connect program is, it's only 10 bucks a month. You get uh, driving range, chipping and putting uh, practice spots, which I need to work on. A um, couple of different options here as to what you want to do with the driving range. Um, and there's, I mean, there's literally, there's so much stuff in this that you can play around with um, and settings to play with. Um, I mean, just the backgrounds, you can change the backgrounds with the push of a button, kind of change your whole uh, look, it changes the whole look on some courses completely, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll just keep it to this for now. We'll stick, start with driver. Again, this is, I like to keep a ball down just to have an aiming point. Um, you can move from club up to club down on the sensor itself. There's an up down arrow on here. Um, and you just thumb down, boom, three wood. Go back to driver. Ready. 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 Okay, kind of weak. Yeah, kind of weak. First swing. Ready. That was a little bit better. Let's try to get this next one to draw a little bit. Ready. Ready. Not bad, not bad, no boosts, 
thing zeroed out. Um, I really like this thing. It's, I mean, it's a good way to just be able to swing in the garage. It's 200 bucks for the device. Ready. Ready. Again, pushed it a little bit. I mean, I can't be mad at that. Okay, so there's driver. Let's see what the irons look like numbers wise. We'll go to seven. That's some seven irons. Typical distance, 155 to 170. I mean, that's my range of my seven. Ready. Ready. Seventy-three. Ready. Ready. We're we'll drawing that. It's more of my normal swing with it. Let's think it. Calculating data. It normally doesn't take this long. Sometimes it just hangs up. It takes a little bit to calculate one or two shots. That's the program though, not the simulator. The device, the device is not, not connected. connected. The device, device is connected. connected. Ready. Ready. I felt like I pushed that. Yeah, not that great of a shot. Not that great. But I mean, you're also you're you're aiming over a target, so it's hard. Ready. It's hard with the swing stick, but it's it's great if you want to just practice your swing indoors. Say you're in your living room and you don't have that much room, you don't have room for a golf simulator, um, well, for 200 bucks you do. You can play this in the living room, swing it, not worry about ceiling fans, whatever. Um, Ready. And you can play 40 courses. There's band in on here, there's all kinds of stuff. Ready. Ready. A little push. Good contact. It's a great device. Like, it is, this is really good. When I push it, I can feel like I can push it. Let's see if I can make it draw. Ready. Ready. Little baby draw. That's nice. It's really nice. Okay, let's go down to a pitching wedge. Ready. Ready. I saw the pitching wedge. Ready. Ready. I mean, this thing's awesome. Okay, so let's, got a little warm up in. Let's head out real quick. I'll show you guys. Let's go with the mini game. Pin Seeker Challenge. Okay, so what this is, you download an app on your phone called Pin Seeker. And you get her opened up on your phone. And there are all kinds of different challenges. Uh, go back out. There's free ones and then there's even cash ones. What it is, it's a uh, close to the pin challenge. 
and some of them are bragging rights. Some of them you can win swag. Like so, we'll go to this one where you can win some swag. Overview. First place gets a pin seeker polo. Five swings for free. Why not? It gets 150 yards. So I scan the QR code. Boom, it says I have five swings remaining. Let's see. Now I really like doing this with my own clubs, but I mean this will give you an the idea. Distance the distance to the pin is 150.2 yards. yards. Ready? Right, 19 feet up. Let's start with seven iron and see what we can do here. 19, 20 feet up, 150 yards. Ready. Ready. I mean, that's not bad. That's not good enough to win a polo. I think I'm going to have to aim a little bit more. So The distance, the distance to the to pin is 150.2 150 yards. yards. Ready. Ready. Oh, that was way too much. All right. All the way back to the hole. Okay, let's try a couple cracks with an eight iron. I like the line though. The line was nice. The distance, the distance to the pin is 150.2 yards. Ready. 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 Draw. Oh, it's got to draw. No draw. Hmm. Only got two swings left here. I'm the distance to the pin is 150.2 yards. Well, let's go eight iron straight at it. Ready. Ready. Well, now it draws. Now it draws. Still, much better shot. Still, 30th place. Nowhere near close enough. I got the one distance to the pin is 150.2 yards. Okay, last swing. Oops. Ready. We go nine iron. And I mean, just a tick to the right. Ready. Ready. Oh, no draw. Oh, way too soft, too. All right, well, it's close to pin challenge. That's what you get. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, I couldn't really hit a number there. But if you go to the driving range first and you work on practicing uh, your yardages with it and then go play, I mean, it's it could be anybody's game on that. Now, I know E6 you can use with, you could also use with SkyTrack, all the other all the other things. There's also, I think, tournaments you could get online and play in. Um, there's lots of stuff you can do with this, with this software once you get in. You can play scrambles. Um, we'll just go to play golf. Uh, we'll go to stroke play. Um, let's go to Bay Hill. Bay Hill. Yeah, let's go to Bay Hill. Tee off. So, show you real quick, just quickly how the to play a hole. The distance to the pin is 413.2 yards. Ready. Ready. Oh, pushed it. In trouble. I got myself in trouble on hole one.
Next video, the distance to the pin is 217.2 yards. I suppose a four hybrid and aim right at it. Ready. Ready. No, I'm not. I'm not mad at that. How can you be mad at that? Getting out of the shit. Now, I think I have putting turned off right now. Uh, the distance to the pin is 32.1 yards. Red Ready. 32 yards, half swing. Red Ready. Ready. Oh, that was maybe a little bit more than a half swing. I suppose that was about a half swing. The distance to the pin is 67 feet. Ready. Ready. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, whew, it stayed on. I think that's a bogey start. I think that's a bogey start for hole one. So what's fun is you can get a bunch of people over and then who the aren't even that is good at golf and you don't have to worry about them breaking shit on your simulator. Ready. Ready. Oh, putting is on. The distance to the pin is 172.2 yards. Ready. 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 Oh, he yanked it. The distance, the distance to the pin, to the pin is 88, 88 feet. feet. Ready. 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 There we go. That was a good chip. Give me a one putt. That was nice. The distance, the distance to the, to the pin, pin is 317.9 yards. Red 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 been pushing a little right anyways. Red Red Red. Guess I'm gonna read. Maybe one of these are read? Maybe one already read and it's just thinking. I'm gonna smack it too hard. Well, maybe not. The device, the device is, is not, not connected. Not connected. There it goes. Yeah, it was, it was good. The, the device, device is, is not connected. Stay out. The device the is connected. connected. That's close. It was the first shot that read. It just kind of stuttered. I think it's because I'm recording. The distance wow, to the so pin is 115.9 yards. yards. Ready. Ready. Go pitching wedge. We're going to aim. aim Ready. Ready. Get us get off the water a little bit. We don't mind sliding it right up to that right Ready. side. Right edge. Ready. Ready. Oh, hit and sit. Yeah, yeah, nice safe shot. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll finish off this hole and then I'm going to end this video. Next one will be with this with my real clubs um, instead of the swing trainer. Uh, although I, I do like swinging with this the swing device trainer. The device is not connected. connected. Come on. 
The distance to the pin is 12 feet and 4 inches. The device is connected. Ready. Change the view here. Oh, cancel. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. Whew. Bit too hot. Not bad. Okay. The distance to the pin is 460 yards. That's where I'm going to stop right this there. video. 200 bucks for the uh, uh, Swing Logic Micro Sim, the SLX Micro Sim. It is so worth it. Like, I can't even describe how much it's really helped my swing. I went from a 26 handicap down to an 18 with it and plan on getting lower. So, uh, nothing to do but get better keep practicing uh, and swing as much as you can on your off days and if you're limited for space or don't want to spend a couple grand you know sky tracks two grand mevo plus two grand um this is 200 bucks and uh i have it on good authority that they might be coming out with some new stuff to pair with it uh to make it just as good if not better than those other things so I would highly recommend uh, picking one up. Um, it's an awesome device. And that's it for me for now. I'll talk to you guys later.